the hunt. Flooded the engine again. The steering wheel has 10 and 2 notches as well as a 9 and 3 grip and some controls. The driver's seat is pretty comfortable and offers slight side bolstering. Move on to the back seat here. It's pretty spacious and can accommodate a full size adult. As you can see in my demonstration, I'm behind myself with about an inch of room to spare. The back seat also features a fold down armrest with a cup holder. The gauges feature a simple yet aesthetic interface, including distance to empty and your gear selection. The shifter has a nice resistance to it, as well as the plus and minus buttons for changing the gears. The Ford Escape has a simple and easy to use climate control system. The package includes heated seats and a 12 volt plug-in. There is a little bit of a learning curve when it comes to using the Ford Escape's infotainment system, but it offers Bluetooth phone support as well as climate control, hands-free calling, and above average radio quality. Also it has electric seat controls as well as standard window control. It also has a two-pieced mirror which allows you to monitor your blind spot. And the trunk space is pretty good with folding seats when all you have to do is take the headrest off, and in my demonstration I show you that a full-size adult male can fit in the back. And more storage, you have map pockets with a cup holder. And you also have a two-tiered glove box. And a relatively deep center console. And the phased front wipers offer better coverage than the standard configuration. Escape also has a rear windshield wiper. Hello everybody, and welcome to a Don Dimension car review. Today, I will be showing you this 2013 Ford Escape SEL. So without further delay, let's take it for a drive. Some first impressions. The seat is really comfortable and it's got nice side bolstering too. I'm about an average size guy, six feet tall, and uh, I have a little bit of wiggle room, but not too much. The steering wheel is pretty nice. It's got 10 and 2 notches and a nice 9 and 3 grip as well. I kind of want to test the acceleration of this EcoBoost. So I'm going to switch into manual mode, rather I'm going to switch into sport and really see about that acceleration. How about that exhaust? I drove this car for a while and determined that the road noise is not too bad. And I can see myself taking one of these on a long road trip. And as far as sportiness is concerned, I took it around some tight corners and experienced a little bit of body roll, but not as much as I expected. And when you compare it to other SUVs, this feels a little closer to that of a car. However, the suspension is still soft and forgiving on the bumps. And uh, as far as towing goes, you should be able to pull your fishing boat, but it is definitely lacking in its capacity. And uh, overall, I really like the Ford Escape. I think it's a great option if you're looking for a smaller, more efficient SUV. 
And it also has a little more power if you need it. So I hope you enjoyed this review. See you next time.